Hey, what's up, YouTube? So this is your boy Chris Lee, aka Tony. Guess what? Great news! I finally got the uh, system audio to go ahead and record with Camtasia 7 and Adobe Audition 3. So my tutorials will now be full in effect. Y'all yeah, will be able to hear uh, what the quality sounds like from inside the system audio instead of me recording from uh, my speakers uh, externally or whatever. So. What I have here is I have a guy on YouTube. Um, his name is, let me see. Well, his YouTube page name is Prism Flash or something like that. He, um, he's he been watching my tutorials. Sh shout out to you for that. Um, <clears throat> he's been watching my videos. And a lot of people have been saying that since that they've been watching my tutorials that my tutorials help. But they haven't quite been able to get the quality um that I get so right off the back um, he went ahead and sent me a piece of his music a track and a vocal and what I'm pretty much gonna do is just show y'all what I d do with my vocals to actually get my quality good now don't forget I engineer I have a real good uh, ear for music so my tips I, I just know automatically what to do with any kind of song uh, or any vocals that I'm mixing because I automatically hear it. It might not work that way for y'all, but continue to pay attention to my tips. Okay, so the first thing that I did was um, let me go ahead and mute everything. Uh, I mean, let me go ahead and take his effects and stuff off. Okay, here's this track. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Skip through some. Okay, so you hear exactly what his vocal sound does. Uh, let me go ahead and play just a little piece without the beat. I'm going to show you guys how I get mixing and mastering and the quality, um, nice, clear, awesome sounding vocals. Nice vocals, by the way, man. Um, so that's what that's what his vocals sound like. Totally draw, no effects. Um, it's always better to work with uh, draw vocals that have dead sound, no acoustics or any other that uh, echoes or any of that extra stuff when you're recording. Uh, record with draw vocals and then put your effects, apply your effects uh, after to make it sound a lot cleaner, a lot better. Okay. So first thing that I did with his vocals is on his track down here with the EQ, you have three, two, one, three stands for the high, two stands for the mid, one stands for the low. You got it? Okay. Now what, what I did right here was I kept this at 7,000, this at 2,500, and this at 160. It usually changes for me, my vocals, and somebody else's, but I'm doing what's best for his vocals right now. Okay. On a three, I turned the gain up to 14. Uh, for the mid, for the number two, I turned it up to three. And for the one, I turned it down to negative four. Y'all see exactly what I did. So before I apply any other effects, watch what that does. It's going to brighten it up. Bam. I know you can hear it. If you can't, it's because you haven't developed a good ear for music yet. Okay, that's the EQ. Now check this out. Next thing that I decided to do, uh, just letting y'all know what I use. Uh, I don't know what kind of mic he uses. I think he used the AT2020 or something like that. So I'm showing y'all what I can do uh, with somebody who records with an AT2020, AT35, whatever. Okay, what I applied here is uh, a CLA Classic Compressor. It's from Waves plugins the waves bundle if you don't have it get your hands on it um, I have the compressor and I also apply the de-esser that's also from waves you can use the ones in a program that's fine if not 
You know what I'm saying? I'll do more tutorials showing y'all exactly how to do it. Okay, now watch this, what this sounds when I applied that. I applied that directly to the track. That's, uh, that sounds awesome already. That's just a compressor, an EQ, and a de -esser. Bam. I mean, that's that already. Look what exactly what that did to the vocals without the rest of the effects. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you, let me see how much time I got. Five minutes, perfect time. Okay, um, what I did what I did next was I went ahead and set up a bus track. And how you do a, a bus track, I'm going to just show you on one of these empty tracks right here. You click down here where it says none. And you go ahead and click add bus. And once you add bus, you rename it to whatever. Reverb, compressors, effects, whatever. So I'm going to put a effects too. Okay, and the good thing about this is that um, when you put your effects in, or whatever, whatever effect that might be, this little knob right here on every last one of these tracks is called a send. The send controls exactly how much of that effect do you actually want on a vocal so I go I went ahead and did it to zero so for his bus track I went ahead and added a little analog delay um, the delay time was what is it 310 is what I got to set for his vocals and I went ahead and added also a studio reverb uh, I have my own custom preset reverbs um, all you gotta do is just mess around and do your own and then you'll see or figure out what works best for you and your vocals. Um, so I have one of my custom reverbs on there. Now check this out. You're going to be, I'm going to mute the beat and you're going to be able to hear the effects from the bus track. I went ahead and changed it down here on this track to effects one, which is the track that he has, the bus track that he has the actual effects on. Watch this. When I am down and all my soul so weary, when troubles come and my heart burdened be. Now watch this. Now that's not even with the sins. You're gonna tell a difference now. I'm turning on his effects track for the sins. When I am down and all my soul so weary, when troubles come and my heart burdened be. So you hear you hear the the studio reverb on his vocals now, along with the little light echo that I went ahead and added. I turned the I turned the sense button all the way up to zero, uh, so you can hear the effect just enough. Anything over that would be, a, I would say, extremely too much. Um, so watch this with the beat. Listen to what it sounds like. This is what I was able to do, make his vocal sound like before even doing my spit clear DSers and all, all the other stuff uh, in the other edit window. Check this out. When I am down and all my soul so weary. When troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. Nice, clean, clear vocals. Uh, I know you guys are pretty amazed by that because that's how I feel every time I'm mixing uh, and mastering people's work. Um, and thank you also for sending me your vocals so I can do this little vocal test or whatever to help people out with this tutorial. Okay, the next thing that I want to show y'all that y'all do actually beforehand or however y'all want to do it, it's up to y'all. What I like to do 
is I like to go to FFT filter and I like to apply de -esser. So let me see. When I am down. Okay, that's just a de -esser. Um I might have added one earlier. I don't remember. So just for right now, I'm going to take that one off just in case. Um, then I want to go to graphic equalizer. Now this this don't have a spit clear like Cuadra Pro would have. I usually put leave vocal presence and clarity. Um, and you can kind of mess with these, uh, whatever you need to do to make it sound better. When I am dead. Okay, that's the next thing I do. Now, most people, I usually don't need to do um, any noise reduction. Uh, not for not for me in my case because I actually my booth and everything is well soundproofed and I don't have any extra noise or BS in the background. But it never hurts uh, to do it. A lot of people like to do it. Me personally, I never need to. Um, but yeah, the noise reduction. Y'all know how I go. Just uh, capture from profile. Once you capture from profile, you just click OK and then you highlight the whole entire thing and do the same exact thing. Now, sometimes noise reduction takes a little too much away from the actual recording. So I like to bring this down. I really don't like the way uh, what the noise reduction actually does to the actual vocal. That's just my preference, though. Um, other than that, I really don't add anything else. I don't never need to add anything else unless you're trying to do cool different effects and stuff like that. Uh, he don't really need any auto tune because he can already sing. Uh, and it's not that he already has a lot of natural vibrato because um, a lot of singers use uh, auto tune. I mean, a lot of singers, Beyonce, Chris Brown, a lot of them. So check this out. So weary when troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still and wait here. So that's that's pretty much what you do now. When you have stuff like this, um, it's all kind of different ways to actually do it. Uh, I'm not sure if this program actually has like a uh, actual gain button because I don't use it more than I uh, use you know Pro Tools. I like Pro Tools and Logic, and I like this program too. But I use it for y'all's purposes to be able to do uh, different tutorials and stuff for y'all. But I'm not really maybe I'm just not looking um, right now. But I'm not really finding a gain button. Uh, let me take my time real fast. I just don't want to use up the whole video for it. Um, Thank you. I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll I guess I'll have to find it a little bit later. Um, but yeah, you just wanna you wanna be able to take the vocal that he has. You can either do it as a whole, but you wanna gain some of this down. You wanna take the vocals down, make them a little smaller, um, so they're not as loud. Check it out. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. So that's pretty much uh, is a is a good vocal. Like I said, I would gain that down. But if you can notice with the levels, I am still I'm in the green, and you'll be good until you you know you can go but somewhere in between the, the green a little bit in the yellow area when you're recording. That's where you want to try to get uh, right between like the yellow and the green, like the lime greenish color. Uh, once you start shooting up into the red. Your vocals are too loud. You're clipping. Um, if you're pressing spacebar and your vocals is only shooting up to about right here, then you probably need to gain your vocals up some so they can be louder. Uh, so this was my quick tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped y'all a lot. Um, I know y'all keep asking me, but that's that's pretty much what I do for my my songs and stuff in every program. It works the same in every program. Exactly what I just showed y'all. Um, so go ahead and continue to watch my videos. Follow me at Twitter uh, at Tooney07, that's T-O-O-N-E-Y-0-7. Uh, 
go ahead and find me on Facebook. I'll post links and stuff like that. Check out my music. Like I said, I hope this tutorial helped y'all a lot. Uh, shout out and thanks to the guy, uh, the YouTuber, uh, who sent me this vocal so I was able to show y'all exactly what I do to try to mix and master and get the vocals right. Um, and I hope it helped. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.